everybody, welcome to episode 6 of All Aboard. My name is Kurt, aka the Vitruvian Gamer. And well, in this episode, I will be talking about games I played, games I got in my collection, Kickstarters I'm interested in, and things that just are happening in the world of board games. First of all, one thing uh, about the YouTube channel. Uh, you might have seen I've changed the name to Vitruvian Gamer with VI instead of VE, which in the first thing is the correct way to write Vitruvian, by the way. I explained in an earlier episode why it was VE. Um, but I changed it to VI just because uh, YouTube wouldn't take my YouTube name. Uh, a YouTube channel's name uh, with VE, so it wouldn't accept it, so I had to find a way around that, and VI works, so that changed all other things. My Twitter name, my Board Game Geek name, uh, still is with VE. I will try and see if that can be changed as well. But for now, welcome to this new episode. This is actually episode 6 version 2 because a few weeks ago I did another one um, but well life got into the way I filmed it and before I could edit it there was so many things I had to do in real life that well the, most of the things I said weren't that interesting anymore I was talking about my anticipations for the Gen Con for example so that all is gone so let's see what is new in my collection of, well, board game collection. So, uh, well, let me start with the newest game I have in my collection and I'm really excited to play this one. Um, I hope I hope to play it today after I'm filming this video and I'm talking about a, a Gen Con release uh, which for Europe is an Essen release, but somehow my friendly local game store already had this in stock. And I'm talking about Discoveries, the journals of Lewis and Clark. So this is a board game, uh, again about Lewis and Clark, about the voyage they took. And same artwork, same theme, but this is a dice game and, the, well, uh, the reactions, the other reviews are really good, so I was really interested in playing this, in buying this as well. I, well, I wasn't doubting any second I, that I would buy this. I love Lewis and Clark, it's maybe a little bit longer than I wish, so a shorter dice game well sounded like the perfect thing for me. Of course, later in another episode or so, I will talk about how this game played, but really curious about this one. Then, there are plenty, plenty more games I uh, recently bought. Uh, Hosted Negotiator is one of them. I finally found it here in Belgium, just before the second Kickstarter went online. Uh, but you couldn't find it here. Uh, it was a big problem. Someone had it, or still sealed, so I bought it. And I really enjoyed playing this. I did an unboxing video already of it, so you can see. You can watch that if you like. And I will for sure do a playthrough of this one day as well. Probably not in the too far future. What else did I have uh, that's new? Well, thanks to Alvin, uh, some guy who also went to Cardboard and Sun. Uh, I talk about that later as well. I have now Red 7 in my collection. Couldn't find it here in Belgium. Finally got someone from the States to bring it to me. And yeah, I, uh, I was right to be looking for it because it might be my favorite filler at this moment. Really fun game. If you play with the base rules, it goes really fast. It takes five minutes for a game. If you add the uh, more, well, if you add more rules to it, it might take a little bit longer. But still, it is a light, fun, fast game. Really, really good game. Really, really fun to play. What else do I have? Well, now I have to talk about something else. I, um, I have a few games here uh, that I won through the GenCant uh, photo contest. So GenCant, if you don't know it, it's uh, this virtual uh, convention, as you might say, for people 
who can't attend Gen Con. And of course, I'm living here in Belgium, so I cannot go to Gen Con, or maybe someday in the future, who knows, but it's not a thing for now. So, uh, there, is this, there was this raffle which you could join, just enter your name and you were in the raffle and you could win fantastic prizes. I entered the raffle and I entered also the uh, photo contest. You just had to send in a picture or more pictures about board gaming. And well, I had one picture that was in the top 10, so I won a few things as well. First of all, I won a gift certificate of $50 uh, at Go, uh, for Go7 Gaming or Go7 Games, uh, who make inserts uh, for games. Uh, really nice things. I did not order it yet uh, because I'm trying to see which one I really want to have because there's one downside for me, the shipping costs are extremely high. So if I want to buy myself an insert that costs $14, I have to pay about $25 to get it here into Belgium, which is a little bit sad, but still, I, uh, I appreciate the price and I will be happy to order one of those inserts, maybe two if, well, I can manage it with the shipping costs. Then, I also won this game from Chevy Dots, Chevy Dot, a really cool guy, and it's called Matter Than a Header. Uh, kind of, I think it's a trick-taking game, three to four players, in which you are trying to collect hats, or you are a haberdasher, each player is a haberdasher, and well, you try to have the coolest collection of hats in your store. I've watched the uh, designer diary of this, which was really cool to see. Uh, so go check that out if you want. Uh, I'll put the link right over here. Alright, so wait for go back after this video and then go check that out, first watch mine. Okay, so that's one else, one game I won as well, and then I won the smallest game that I have now in my collection, for sure. I have a few of these credit card games, but they still need pieces. This is a one card game, it's called To The Edge, it's from uh, Simply Design Publishing, and they're, yeah, they're with Matter Than A Header. And it's just a game for two or more players, and you, all you need is this card and a table, and you have to throw or flip this card to as close to the edge of the table and score points. Really simple game, but it's really fun uh, to have. So that, so I'd like to thank, of course, uh, the orga the organizers of uh, Gen Kent uh, for doing this. I'd like to thank all these publishers and other people who joined in uh, for some lovely prizes. The prize pool was just humongous, it was unbelievable. So that was really cool. So next year if you cannot go to Gen Con, go to Gen Kent. You don't have to leave your home for it. Great. Something else maybe? Well, I also now have Pocket Imperium, which was a free game I got uh, for Cardboard and Sun. You'll see that in another video, I'll talk about this later. And, well, I have some more, I think I only want to mention this one for now. I've got Lord of the Rings the, uh, card game, this living card game, um, really great team. I've uh, played it twice now, uh, still not 100% comfortable with the rules and such, but you can expect me to do a series of this uh, game uh, from playthroughs. I found a guy who was, well, selling all kinds of expansion packs for it, so I uh, I bought a lot of those as well already. So you can expect that on this channel as well. But enough talk about what I've played or what I've gained in my collection. Let's see if there's something interesting on Kickstarter. Okay, so Kickstarter. Well, there are a few things I find interesting. Uh, there are lots of games, of course, on Kickstarter again, but these are a few things I, uh, well, I'm keeping my eye on. First of all, there is this thing called Tabletopia. Tabletopia is, well, it's not a board game, uh, but it's a digital platform for board games. Uh, apparently, they have been developing this for quite a while, and it's, well, it's this uh, program or this online Thing where you will be able to play board games digital form 
and it looks really really nice you I've seen a few games passing by which are really interesting for me to, uh, like Imperial Settlers for example and also what's great you can create your own games on this platform so you can do, make prototypes or real complete games if you want to you have some a uh, lot of templates which you can use uh, about pieces of uh, for your board game meeples pounds uh, cards whatever so you can do all these things it really looks cool you have different camera angles and all these kind of things so really interested it's still 23 days as the day I'm recording it so a long way to go but they are already funded they already well have more than double their uh, asked uh, money worth so it will fund that's cool so if you're interested in it go check it out I didn't read the complete uh, thing yet the Kickstarter page but uh, it really looks cool I think it works with a subscription of a month three months six months I'm not sure uh, if you back certain levels you already get access to for a couple of months to it uh, you have a silver uh, and gold membership uh, which you can use so uh, well just check it out, it looks cool and well if we can play more board games when we are home alone well, I'm for, in for it so I will check it out for sure something else now, something very different is called Cat Tower Cat Tower is this game um, that already existed in Japan and maybe some people around the world already own it and I was lucky enough to play it uh, in Greece last week and well, Cat Tower is this uh, stacking game in which, which you have these cardboard cats you have to stack into a tower every turn, you roll a die, it tells you what to do you have to maybe put one of your cats on top of the tower, maybe two of them or someone else has to put your piece on the tower and if it falls, well, he's the one to blame, so he's getting a penalty you have these uh, cat cards which you might put on the tower with a token on it, which, well uh, gives an extra action that some player has to do and well it's just really fun it's a really light game it's great for all ages and well I had surprisingly lots of fun with this on vacation so it's uh, you, you might want to check it out it really looks cool so look at it it's really cute as well last thing I want to talk about last Kickstarter is also not a board game uh, it's um, for Tiffany, uh, the one tar, you, as you might know her on YouTube, on the internet or on Twitter. Uh, Tiffany is also a YouTube uh, personality, well she's way bigger than me. Uh, well, she might, she might be smaller, but she's bigger in... Uh, yeah, well, whatever. So, uh, she wants to go to Essen to Spiel 2015 and, well, lots of her fans in Europe would love her to go of course and meet her I'm one of them I really like the videos she does and I really think it's a great cool person and I well when I hope to play a game with or against her one day and she's doing a Kickstarter to get to Essen to fund her trip to Essen and as I'm talking about this it already funded so she will go to Essen but you might still want to check this Kickstarter out there are some a uh, few cool uh, things you can get there, uh, some cool prints for t-shirts, mouse pads or whatever and so maybe you could do a really cool $3,000 uh, pledge uh, which uh, gets you cool stuff of, as well but that's a lot of money but still she will go to SM that's quite exciting f for me because I love to meet her so uh, I hope I can meet her as well Talking about Essen, it's not a Kickstarter thing, but I'll throw it in. Uh, I will go to Essen as well. I'm not sure how long. There is some looking for a place to stay. Uh, I will go at least one day. It's not that far from my place. It's about two, three hour trip there. But I'm trying to get a place to sleep and I want to go there for a few days. Might even do some demo for some publisher. So I'm looking into that as well. But that's a thing for the future. So enough about that, this was the Kickstarter part, let's go to the next thing. Okay, so I think this video will be long enough now, normally I do this rambling part and I do some more things. 
I think it's long enough. You probably you're probably already kind of bored with what I'm saying in my talking, so I will keep it short. One thing I will mention is I went on a vacation to Greece, second year in a row. I went with cardboard and sun, so it was a board game vacation. And I recorded a video and posted a video right before this one, uh, in which I tell you everything about it. So if you're interested in how that went and how things go on a board game vacation, you might want to check the video out. I'll put the link over here. Doesn't it look nice? And well, that's all for me for now. Next time I will find a team to talk and ramble about. But this, uh, I think it's been good for this video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the future. So I see you then. Bye bye.